Welcome back. When you think of Canadian comedy, the most popular characters seem to come from out of the way places. Think Charlie Farkerson, Trailer Park Boys, Corner Gas, and now Letter Kenny. It's a brilliantly written satire about life in a small town where a fist fight is one insult away and the dialogue is usually profane. Letterkenny's streaming success spreads far beyond the real town that fictional Letterkenny's based on, Listowel in the farm country of southwestern Ontario, where the co-creator, writer and star of the series grew up, and where Jared Kiso greeted us in typical style. You've seen some nutsacks from a TV show called W5 come up the laneway the other day. Good enough. Well, that's how Jared's character Wayne speaks in Letter Kenny. Much of it we can't let you hear on family friendly conventional TV. An amateur MMA asshole asked you to engage in aggressive altercation. Who the f is the toughest guy in here? That'd be me. Bullshit. You don't take care of a cold, so stay for seven days. Jared Kiso's Wayne is a solid and stolid farm guy. A hick, along with his buddies Daryl. Our job has been hanging out with some DJs from upcountry. And Squirrely Dan. Yep, we can't promise summers, but we'll guarantee winters. Their world is a constant battle for dominance between the hicks. How are you now? Please don't talk to me like a hick. The rave loving skids. And the dim witted hockey jocks. It's all about the flow. Exaggerated versions of the type of people Kiso grew up with and sometimes worked alongside at the family sawmill in Listowel, working for his dad, Richard, bagging firewood. We used to have to pull right out of there yeah. and there'd be a shaker. The loader drops the firewood into there. We pull it out and put it in the bagger and, and then take it to the campgrounds. And developing the solid blue collar work ethic that's taken him so far, so fast. I'd say that this is the most valuable work experience of my life because you know you can do labor, you can do just about anything, right? Your parents were telling me that like when you were a kid here, that one of the things that you were really able to do that has ended up providing your life style really, was your ability to mimic. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a bit of that. When did you first realize that you could listen and hear and copy the way other people talked, acted? Um, I don't know if I can really pinpoint, you know, a specific time when, when I got into that, but we were allowed to stay up on Saturday nights and watch SNL. Um, I, uh, I also really liked the Three Stooges at a young age. Uh, they were on on Sundays before church and after church, and we still went to church. <laughs> so did that get you through um, a lot of your teenage life, your ability to um, sort of withdraw and poke fun and be able to mimic moments and listen? You know, in, in, in teenage life, like, I, I think back on it, and I was a zit face, and my brother was, was a zit face, and there's certain things, like, you know, like, I'd, I don't know if, like, I was maybe trying to, trying to, like, take people's attention away from, from all my zits, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 like, that, that could have been something. Eventually, Jared's skin cleared up as he bulked up and he was able to push his hockey talent to the junior B level, playing down the road for Strathroy. He was still in high school, but starting to discover another passion, acting. In a small town, you don't realize you can make a living, you know, being an actor and stuff. So it was a roll of the dice and you get a lot of sideways glances and certainly the piss taken out of you by, by a lot of people. I can imagine what's being said in the corners as, sure. they're, as they're checking you. The corners, the supper table. What the hell is going on in here? Hockey didn't really work out. Not a big enough points guy. So he switched to acting and pretty quickly secured a role that any Canadian hockey kid would crave a young Don Cherry in two made-for-TV movies. Now pull your heads out of your asses and get ready for the biggest period of your lives! And then not long after, a leading role in the cop drama 19-2. Those roles paid the bills. And in the meantime, he and his buddy Nathan Dales were quietly honing comedy shorts on YouTube. Free agents who get together and plan where they're going to go always end up looking like Ryan's Sutterd cutters. Just ask LeBron Shames. Or Chris Bosch. It wasn't long before they began developing a skit called Letter Kenny Problems. 
Your little cousin put a stink bomb inside a Nerf gun and fired it at his bus driver. F no more kids table with those big boy moves. The short on-camera rants exploded. And three short years later, Letterkenny is on TV and Crave and someday soon in the U.S. Can't believe it, buddy. Jared invited us to the location set, which on this day was, what else, a hockey arena. Congratulations on your boat. <laughs> in Sudbury, Ontario. Which is where all the TV episodes have been filmed. Krusty's comedy classic. There we go. Mark. Action. You all, your lives are so sad, I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. Many of the actors are old friends and hockey teammates. Nathan Dales plays Daryl and the guy who has Wayne's back. And he has Jared's in real life, too. Well, you guys knew each other how before this? Uh, we knew each other from the bar. From the bar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, we played on a beer league team together out there, and there's six dudes from this cast who all played on the beer league team. So yeah. We started, uh, when Dalesy and I started doing the Letterkenny Problems web series, uh, we needed to cast two hockey players. And at the time, Playfair and Hersey, Andrew Her Dylan Playfair, uh, were just fresh out of their junior career. So oh, I love that everybody has an, like a hockey nickname. Yeah. That's an E at the Every, end, Everybody right? gets one. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. It's a girl from up country you kind of like, but she's a mouth breather, and you heard her brother smokes meth. If you had as many bucks in your wallet as bucks mounted on your wallet, you'd have, well, give or take six bucks. I think that you can get by in comedy being one of, one of three things. There are shows that get by on being charming, um, uh, shows that get by on being clever, and then shows that get by on being actually funny, like laugh out loud funny. What f***ing satanic clown orgy did you just crawl out of? Toronto. Shocker. When we were writing uh, the Letterkenny YouTube series, like I thought, I was like, you know, I really think all three boxes are checked here. I was like, okay, that is clever, charming, and funny. Letterkenny's huge success on social media and YouTube convinced Crave TV to skip the usual series pilot to test it. Jared's first call was to his buddy, Dalesy. I remember it very, very clearly. It was uh, like the moment when Jared called me and told her, you know, it was like green light where we're going to go, and it was uh, yeah. January 19th, 9, 9.43 a.m. I've got, the, I've got a screen cap of the phone call, and he was like, hey, look, we're... You still have that, seriously? Absolutely, yeah, 100%. He's like, he's like all right, well, uh, green light, so we're going. I was like, cool, I'm done in the city. What's cup for it? Uh, that's when you farts into your hand and then cup it like you're transporting a tiny bird and release it into the face of an unsuspecting pal. Well, that could be worse things. The character of Squirrely Dan, played by stand-up comic K. Trevor Wilson, was added for the TV series. Squirrely Dan, you'll be snoring within the first five and I bet as many bucks on it. Well, I had my coffee today, so I will take that bet. You don't need to shake, I trust you. I wanted to bring something different uh, that uh, these two guys weren't doing, so I made Dan, you know, uh, uh, not too sure how to speak right. Uh, and I came in with the, the jumble talking, and, and Jared was like, uh, I'm glad you did that because I wanted you to do that, but I didn't know how to ask you to do that. <laughs> but it was like really quick. I think after the third re first read through, it was like, okay, this is, this is going to be fun. Action. Shorzy? Give your balls a tug. How can I add in this, this wet green line because it's just so good? Um, something about water, wet bed, wet, I don't know. I can't believe this is actually going to be B-roll oh. W5. I was what talking if, about how if, to shoehorn okay. a wet dream joke into a TV show. Jacob Tierney is Letterkenny's director. If there were still TV Guide, what would the listing say about the show? I, I would say that we would probably say something along the lines of what are, are captured at the beginning of, uh, you know, Letter is a town of 5,000 people in Ontario, and these are their problems. I remember when you can smoke in here. Yeah, we're going to smoke using here, bud. I came here to do two things, launch this broom on the ice and drink puppers, and the gal at the bar just told me I'm cut off. This show's all rhythm. I mean, this show is all rhythm. It's a dialogue-driven show, um, so it's all conversations, absolutely. In the words of Grammy Award-winning Canadian vocalist Sarah McLaughlin, you're building a mystery. In the words of genre-bending indie Canadian rock band Arcade Fire, wake up. For people who don't know Letter Kenny, but you, you use these words a lot. Yeah. So can we do flashcards for a second? Sure. All right, okay. Yeah. So when I throw this up, just give me the, give me the definition using a sentence. Sure. FURTA, uh, FURTA boys, it is an abbreviation for, for the boys. Uh, right. So hockey players would say, uh, uh, big W tonight, FURTA. All right. 
Yeah, chirping. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, how uh, hockey players insult each other. How everybody insults each other. So like, buddy was chirping me at the bar last night, so I chirped him back. Doing the dangles, <laughs> dirty dangles. Yeah, okay, that's a way of stick handling uh, the puck. You know, I guess a fancy way of stick handling the puck is 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 your dangles. So like, if a dude stick handling down the ice and and uh, deeks a couple guys out, then he's got dirty dangles. Jared and Jacob rely on each other to stick handle the pace of the show. And action! Jacob not only directs, he writes half the scripts. I knew that uh, I, I needed somebody. I'd never written for TV before and... Well, you found Jacob. Oh, yeah. certainly, yeah. How did you guys meet up? How did you find each other? We put together a wish list and Tierney was at the top of that list. And so I went to, uh, to meet him. We had a few beers and then we got a smoked meat sandwich in Montreal and, and we got to work the next day. Well, here's, like, here's some of the W. Uh, try to get him to get prescription. Try to get Jared to go to an eye doctor. Yeah. It's a squint, it's not a fake thing. It's a real, he can't see things. <laughs> Tierney put on self care for his W5 interview. Sorry, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't kidding, you could see it in Tierney's face that he put self-tanner on before his interview. Alpha Mark? Rolling, rolling. Oh, you didn't hear? We're working for a sweet country Canada now. I think it's a show that has a huge heart is the first thing, because Jared has a huge heart. He likes a happy ending. He's kind of a sap. He wants it to be ha he wants people to end up happy. He wants good things for his characters. And we love these characters. Um, even though they can be dum-dums, and even though we make jokes, they're never at their expense. We want them to be their best selves. So when do you know as a director, uh, when you've got that letter Kenny rhythm moment time, it's just instinctive or? You feel, you hear it, we laugh, you know, like we laugh. Uh, you guys laugh a lot. We laugh a lot, we absolutely yeah. do. I mean, you know, we're making a comedy, so if we're not laughing, we... We've got outstanding. <laughs> Life imitates art. Gotta start with burpees, buddy. When the real hockey players take a <laughs> shot. <laughs> this one's hard, yeah, man. <laughs> when W5 continues. And ultimately, it's on the players to uh, get pucks deep. Get pucks deep. Get pucks in the net. Get pucks in the net. And, uh... From a humble start. No one's mocking hockey games. To the millions who streamed Letterkenny problems. Lord. Enough to convince a TV network to turn it into a series now entering its fourth season. Without further ado, we're going to bring out the cast. Letter Kenny has entered the Canadian consciousness, bringing characters and a way of talking into the mainstream, and also stages across Canada. How'd you make out, Big Chief? Find the missing goalie links. You get goalie lucky. You should goalie let this goal before I goalie lose my. <laughs> Take a drink, Goldie Lush. Tread Goldie lightly. <laughs> However, laughter isn't what co-creator Jared Kiso first reached for. He spent a few years trying to make it in Los Angeles in dramatic television, struggled hard, and got nowhere. Well, the nice thing is, is you went to Los Angeles. Yeah. You came back and you made a very firm decision about who you wanted to be, and that's when you became successful. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I'll tell you what I did, you know, I, I went down there and uh, I, I knew that I didn't like it. The approach to that business, the way that you're supposed to approach that business is that Hollywood is the most important. And I couldn't accept that because Hollywood had done nothing for me. I was down there because of what I'd accomplished in Canada. So I didn't get a sniff down there. I, I, I you know, developed a, a minor complex because like they do chew you up and, and, and spit you out. You know, I came back cool. and I was, yeah, I was so banged up. I started forgetting my lines in the audition room and that was crazy to me because auditioning was always my favorite thing. I like to compete and I like to win. It's, it, it's a big deal not being able to remember your lines in the audition room. It's the biggest deal, you know, like if, like if, if, if you can't remember your lines and you can't book jobs, if you can't book jobs, you can't make money. If you can't make money, you can't eat. And yeah, so like that was, that, that was really my livelihood there. Um, but that's what it did to me, and I got a shrink and I straightened myself right out. That, that, that was something I was able to nip in the bud in, in just a couple sessions. But like it, it, really, it, it really did just pulverize me, it beat the crap out of me down there. And on top of that, I'm happier here, I'm not happy down there. 
And in Canada, Jared has tapped into a culture that's somewhat foreign in most U.S. states. Hockey. There's no question, hockey players of all ages and ability are the ambassadors for this series. This is their language. I skipped curfew call for you last night because I knew you'd be doing legs, and I didn't want to interrupt. We've been doing legs two days since the first week of summer, coach. Blocked every wheelchair ramp in the arena, so we have to do stairs. And some of Letterkenny's biggest fans are on skates, including the Calgary Flames. W5 traveled to Calgary and invited Chris Versteeg, Curtis Lazar, Ryan Lomberg, and Mark Jankowski to test a couple of scenes out of Letterkenny. Can Jared's satire make the pros laugh? Letterkenny, episode 104, scene six. And action. 10 losses in a row, bro? Two's a streak, bro. Like, where's Schultz been out there? Schultz's dog shit. Impressive pace. Like, where's Coopsy been? Playing like Poopsy. <laughs> Play like me like Right in Putin Hopkins. CK Poobin. Look at Janko's really really got the body the body language there too. He's leaning into it. You wanna start it or want me to start? I think I'm Jones here. Yeah. Okay, bro. Workout program. Go. Gotta start with burpees, buddy. Just ripping burpee box jumps, buddy. Fifty burpees, fifty push-ups. Fifty burpees. <laughs> <laughs> This one's hard, yeah, man. No, we're in one. We could be in one. Here. This could take a while. Yeah. Holy Somebody's shit. chirping them from the wings, Legs. right? Just ripping bent over dumbbell rear delt raised with head on bench. Getting delts to die for, buddy. <laughs> Playing like poopsie. That's the lie, eh? The long That's poo chick the, or poo yeah, chick? Yeah. Playing like poopsie. <laughs> 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 Where's poopsie Playing like poopsie. That's the one. That's the dagger. There it is. They laughed. They laughed. Laugh. They right? laugh. How are we the grocery sticks when these donkeys are such dog You're Kenny Coast to Coast out there, buddy. You're Harry High Slot, buddy. Corey Clap Bombs. Finally, two actors <laughs> stick to the script. <laughs> TP and Hersey are that's all a, over the map. That's a director for you. Know. <laughs> Love to see those laughs. <laughs> I think we nailed that one. We nailed that one. <laughs> so this is, how does this make you feel to watch this? Seriously. Uh, it's, it, it's nuts. Just the, the, the perks of the job, you know, the... <laughs> The, the amount of time you spend thinking about this team and their players and their well-being and just seeing that, like, maybe they're maybe thinking about our show and, and our characters and our well-being, it's, it's nuts. <laughs> they're having fun, eh? Oh, yeah, man. Three, two, one, let's go, Shad Rockets! With me, no echoing. Back inside that arena in Sudbury where the final episode of season three is being filmed, the joint is rocking. The fictional Shamrockettes from fictional Letter Kenny are playing for the championship, and the chirping is dialed up to 10. You, Betty Ann, your breath is an existential crisis. Made me question my whole life. You, Shores, you're a horrible ref. Good luck, you losers. Because you haven't started the broadcast, you guys get away with a lot of pretty yeah. raw language. Absolutely. And action. Let's get this win, let's get this W, and let's get this luxury sea liner on the lake! Let's go! Go, go. Right, but if you couldn't curse as much as you curse, would this yeah. still be Letter Kenny? No. You looking for a Tilly, buddy? Let's have a Donny, bro! What sort of backwards pageantry is that? Either fight with those shades or play PokerStars.com. What's been the biggest surprise to you about you? being successful, knowing where you came from, knowing how you're put together. I really hadn't thought about any of that, you know, and now that I have to find that, like, the approach that I had with all the life skills I learned growing up in Listowel, that's the person that I want to be. I never want that person to change. Um, and I like to think that, that it hasn't. I'll still look you in the eye and give you a firm handshake. I'll remember your name. There's just little things like that that I think get lost along the way when people start to feel too important get a sense of self-importance. And I'll never be that nutsack, I promise you that. <laughs> chin up, chin up, chin up.
Well, that Letter Kenny stage show continues to tour across the country, and there are six brand new episodes ready to stream on Crave Christmas Day.